Gray hair. What actually causes gray hair? Now I know this could be a lot of speculation in regards to nutrient deficiencies, chemical exposure, stress, age. All right, we got that part down. But what actually is the end result that actually starts this process of the hair graying itself? What do all these nasty things possibly do which cause the hair to gray? Well, researchers from the Amer Federation of American Societies of Experimental Biology back in 2009 asked this question of what is the root cause, no pun intended, and that was their joke, that mine, of hair graying. And this is what they came up with. In the research title called No Longer Gray Area, our hair bleaches itself as we grow older. In the citation title, Senile Hair uh, Graying H2O2, recognize H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, mediated oxidative stress affects human hair color by blunting methionine sulfoxide repair. Remember MSR. Published online February 23rd, 2009 in the Federation of American Societies of Experimental Biology. Well, this is what the research discovered as far as what caused the hair to gray. It's quite interesting it, when you begin to put all the pieces together per se. They said going gray is caused by a massive buildup of hydrogen peroxide due to wear and tear of our hair follicles. The peroxide winds up blocking the normal synthesis of melanin, our hair's natural pigment. Well, why does this H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide build up to begin with in the hair, causing the melanin levels to basically decrease? This is what they discovered. All of our hair cells make a tiny bit of hydrogen peroxide. But as we get older, per se, this little bit becomes a lot. We bleach our hair pigment from within and our hair turns gray and then white. Due to what, you may ask? Why is it building up and how can the pos body possibly break it down? Now keep in mind, the uh, Federation also uh, possibly uh, stumbled upon a cure for it. If you want to call turning gray hair back to whatever your original color was, a cure. But let's move forward and we'll cover that part in a little bit. The researchers made the discovery by examining cell cultures of human hair follicles. They found that the buildup of hydrogen peroxide was caused by a reduction of an enzyme that breaks up hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. You ready? That enzyme is called catalase. Catalase is an enzyme required to break up H2O2 in the body to prevent this hydrogen peroxide from building up, basically disrupting your melanin production. But let us proceed forward. They also discovered that hair follicles cannot repair the damage caused by the hydrogen peroxide because of low levels of enzymes, catalase, that normally serve this function. Further complicating matters, the high levels of high perox hydrogen peroxide and low levels of methionine sulfoxide repair, remember the MSR, uh, or metho sorry, methionine sulfoxide reductase, uh, disrupt the formation of an enzyme called Tyrosine, tyrosinase, tyrosine. You recognize the word tyrosine for melanin? Well, tyrosinase, the enzyme that leads to the production of melanin in hair follicles. Melanin, the pigment responsible, obviously we just discussed, hair color, skin color, and eye color. So this is what they discovered. They said, well, the hydrogen peroxide builds up in the hair. So the hydrogen peroxide is actually uh, causing the hair to gray by breaking down the body's ability to maintain melanin levels, one way or the other. So. The Federation of American Societies of Experimental Biology possibly speculated on potential cures or reversal or ways to reverse this gray hair. Now, it's a little technical, but hypothetically, it may work if they can actually get the studies done to see if they, how it progresses and if it actually is successful. The two items they looked at was this. Methionine sulfide oxidation possibly can be prevented by methionine, remember? Methionine sulfide oxidation, partly responsible for reduction of the enzymes tyrosinase and therefore reduction of the melanin itself, the thing that colors your hair. Second thing, reducing the hydrogen peroxide. This is something they discovered also. Topical UVB activated compound called PC-KUS, otherwise known as a modified pseudocatalase, applied directly to the hair, they speculate may actually work and or catalase enzymes ingested internally may have the potential to work. Now keep in mind, this is all hypothetical and it has to be carried out to human trials. 
but those are three possible keys is somehow can get to where it needs to go and there create the reaction of breaking down hydrogen peroxide and allowing melanin levels to come back to normal, it possibly can be a way of reversing, I should say, gray hair. But that's way off and a lot of research needs to be done. But keep in mind, they need to focus on L-methionine. Uh, they have to look at catalase or modified pseudocatalase or a topical application. Now keep in mind too, research came out a little bit later on some little more technical white hair make gray, and it was called WNT signaling, which has to do with uh, maintaining hair growth and hair melanin also. So that may be uh, a side note per se. So gray hair, why is it caused? Build up a hydrogen peroxide, depletes the melanin, and henceforth the hair goes from gray to white. So hypothetically, you may be able to reverse it by finding out why the hair can't break down the hydrogen peroxide. Again, hope this helps. Raptor Jano signing off. And that's the reason why hair actually goes gray. Or I should say the root cause. Thank you.